Good day everyone. So for today's video, we're going to have the continuation of interest, which is we will now be dealing with compound interest. So this is the first part of uh, the video. So uh, we have defined compound interest to which uh, we compute the interest with that of the previous uh, preview. Uh, we compute it through the principal and so with the accumulated past interest to which kapag i, i ano natin siya um i illustrate natin siya suppose your principal is 100,000 and um uh, our interest rate is compounded annually so madali naman pong i-determine kung simple or compound kasi merong word na simple meron ding word na compound so um and your time is 4 years so kapag simple yan Isang beses mo lang siya kukompute. Okay po? Isang bagsakan. But, kay compound interest, yearly mo po siya kukompute. Okay? So, um, after one year, uh, your money, if you have the principal 100,000, after one year, that would be 105,000 pesos. And then, this, uh, this maturity value after one year would become your principal pagpasok ng second year. And that is to be multiplied with another 5% para sa ating uh, interest rate. And that will yield to 110,250. And this again become our principal pagpasok ng third year. So this is a, a cumulative. Okay po? To which, kapag, uh, kapag in-illustrate natin siya using algebraic, uh, algebraic manipulations. So we have P times 1 plus R. Uh, bakit walang T? Kasi after one year lang naman, so T is 1. So just like saying 1 plus R. So that would be P times 1 plus R. And then this becomes our principal pagpasok ng second year. To which, multiply pa rin natin sa kay 1 plus R. Kaya po naging P times 1 plus R squared. Okay po? And the process goes on and on up until makarating ka dun sa last year. To which, yung for natin, kung mapapansin natin, is actually our time or term. And to, um, this will this will yields to our formula in getting the maturity value of a compound interest. To which our formula is F equals P times 1 plus R raised to T. To which, I see, yes, that's a compound interest. Um, the principal is uh, P and then the rate is R. And then, T is our time, of course, in years. So, in solving for the maturity value of a compound interest, ito po yung formula na gagamitin natin. Okay po. Um, next, is paano naman po kung yung interest lang yung kukunin natin? So, kapag kukunin lang natin yung compound interest, then we simply subtract the maturity value with that of the principal. Okay po? So, let us have example para mas malinawan tayo. Suppose we have this problem. Lovely de deposited 350,000 pesos in a bank that pays 2% interest compounded annually. So, nandito po yung word na compound. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, we are after a compound interest. How much will her money be after 8 years? Okay? Um, and then, the next, the next question is how much interest is earned? So, first things first is for us to write the given. So, the given are principal, which is 350,000 pesos, kasi yun yung dineposit niya. And then, the bank that pays 2% interest compounded annually. So, our R would be 2%. To which, kapag kinonvert natin siya into decimal, we move the decimal point to decimal places, we have 1, 2. So, our rate would be equivalent to 0 0.02. Okay? Next would be the time. The time would be 8 years. Okay? So, ang, tinata ang unang tanong natin is, how much will her money be after 8 years? So, tinatanong kung magkano yung magiging pera niya after 8 years. So, we are after the maturity value. So, that is F. Okay? So, we are after F. So, in solving the maturity value, we use the formula F equals P times 1 plus R raised to T. Okay, to which yung T ay exponent na po natin. And kung mapapansin ninyo, or kung it is just a review, that the compound interest is one of the applications of exponential models, if you still remember. So going back, 
we have f equals p times 1 plus r raised to p. And since we already know what p, r, and p are, then we now substitute the, for, the, the values to our formula. So that would be f equals the principal, which, which is 350,000. We have 350,000 multiplied by 1 plus r, which is 0 0.02, raised to t, which is 8. Okay? First things first is for us to simplify in what is inside the parentheses. We have f equals 350,000 multiplied by 1.02 raised to 8. Okay po? And then, we simplify now yung merong exponent. So, we have f equals 350,000 multiplied by, so kapag kinompute natin yan, that is 1.02 raised to 8. Okay, so that would be 1 point, so susulat muna natin lahat ha, so that is 1.17165938.1. So, ito po yung equivalent niya, and then this value would be multiplied by 350,000, so para mas maging accurate tayo. So, our maturity value would be 400. That would be 410,080.78. So, yung maturity value niya after 8 years, ay meron siyang 410,080 pesos and 78 centavos. Okay po? So, this would be the maturity value sa ating problem. But, there is another question. Sabi dyan, how much is the interest earned? Or, how much interest is earned? So, hahanapin natin yung interest. So, in, in finding for the interest, particularly the compound interest, we have the maturity value minus the principal. So, the maturity value is 410,880 pesos and 78 centavos minus the principal which is 350,000. To which, it will yield to, so we have minus 350,000. That will yield to 60,080 pesos and 78 centavos. So, ito po yung interest na na-earn niya at, at ng 8 years. Okay po? So, that's how we solve for compound interest. Okay? Next, let us have another problem. Suppose we have... Suppose we have this. Gerald... Sam's father um, decided to deposit 50000 in Sam's bank account that pays an annual interest rate of 2.5% for Sam's future education expenses. If Sam is in his 7th grade, how much will Sam have in his account as he enters 4th year college? So, uh, it, this is somewhat tricky, pero uh, i-digest natin kung ano man yung mga phrases na sinabi sa problem. So, ang sabi dyan, Gerald, Sam's father, decided to deposit 50,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, our principal would be 50,000 pesos. And then, uh, in Sam's bank account that pays an annual interest rate of 2.5% uh, 2. 2. for Sam's future education expenses. So, our rate would be 2.5%. Percent, to which, kapag kinonvert natin siya into decimal, this is equivalent to, so move the decimal point to decimal places to the left. We have 1, 2, so our rate would be 0 0.025. Okay? For Sum's future education expenses. So, nung dyan, if Sum is in his 7th grade, how much will Sum have in his account as he enters 4th year college? So, ano po yung time natin? So, in the Philippine, in the context of the Philippine education, kung nasa grade 7 ka, then kailangan mong tapos ng grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, hanggang grade 12. Okay? Sorry? Grade 11, then we have grade 12. And then, after that is, papasok ka ng 4th year. We have 1st year college, 2nd year college, 3rd year college, and then we have 4th year college. So, ilang taon po yun? So, we have, kung ilang taon yon, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 years yung uh, term na binigay dun sa problem. So, our time would be 9 years. So, ang tanong dyan is how much will Sam have in his account as he enters 4th year college? Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin is our future value. Okay po? So, we would have F equals, so, medyo tricky lang din yung problem kasi walang sinabi kung simple or compound. Pero, since we are dealing with compound interest, let us assume that we are after the compound interest. So, we have F equals P times 1 plus R raised to T, to which our principal is again 50,000 times 1 plus R, our rate is 0 0.025, 0 0.025. And our time is 9 years. And then, we first simplify the, the values inside the parenthesis. We would have F equals 50,000 times 1 uh, 1.025 raised to 9. And then, we next, uh, are we, sim we simplify the, expon the expressions with exponent. Next, we have F equals 50,000 multiplied by what is 1.025 raised to 9? So that would be 1.24886297. So wag muna nating i-delete yung nasa calculator. We, we then multiply it with 50,000. So 1, 2, 3. So the answer or the maturity value would be 62,443. Point surrounded also the nearest hundreds, that's point 0.50. Hence, magkano yung, mag, magkano yung magiging pera ni Sam sa kanyang bank account kapag pumasok na siya ng fourth year? That would be 62,443.50. So that's how we compute for the future maturity value or the future value of a compound interest. So para makuha natin yung interest na nakuha niya, that's simply 62,443.15. Minus 50,000, that will use it 12,443.50. Okay po? Now, hindi lang po future value yung pwede nating, uh, yung pwede nating compute using the formula. Okay po? Pwede din po nating kunin yung principal. Okay? Pero dapat given tayo ng future value. So, the principal or the present value may be computed by P equals F over 1 plus R raised to T. So, saan po nang galing yan? Nang galing po yan, dun sa formula natin ng pagkuha ng future value, that is, F equals P times 1 plus R raised to T. Ang kailangan lang kasi natin is paano natin makukuha yung present value. So, para makuha natin yung present value, kailangan P lang yung nasa kabilang side ng equation, to which, ang ginawa lang natin is dinivide lang natin both sides by 1 plus R raised to T, Kaya po, ang naging formula natin in getting the present value or the principal is P equals F over 1 plus R raised to P. So, ganun lang po, kasimple. So, doon lang po nang galing yung ating formula. So, let us have problems to solve. So, ayan po. Let us have problems to solve. Suppose this is... This is the problem. What is the present value of 85,000 pesos due in 9 years if money is worth 8% compounded annually? Okay? So, kung uh, itadigest natin yung problem, what is the present value of 85,000 pesos due in 9 years? So, after 9 years daw, that is our time, after 9 years daw, meron kang 85,000 pesos. So, that is your future value. Okay? And then, if the money is worth 8% compounded annually, so our rate would be 8%. And if we're going to convert that into decimal, that would be, we just move the decimal point two decimal places to the left, that would be 0 0.08. Okay? And, tulad ng, ng binabanggit is for us to get the present value or the principal. Okay? So, we will now use the formula P equals F over 1 plus R raised to T. And by plugging in all the necessary values to our formula, that is P equals 
the present value, uh, the future value, which is equivalent to 85,000 over 1 plus our rate is 0 0.08 raised to our time is 9 years. Okay? We first simplify the values inside the parentheses. We have 85,000 over 1 plus, or that's 1.08 1 1 raised to 9. So, pwede naman po natin siyang idiretso sa calculator para hindi na po tayo mahirapan. So, that would be, that would be 85,000, that would be 85,000 over, that is, 1.08 raised to 9. Okay po? So, that would be, that will yield to the present value which is 42,521.16 pesos. Okay, so our principal is 42,521.16. Okay po? So kung meron kang 42,521.16 na pera at i-deposit mo siya, let's say for example sa banko na merong 8% interest rate for 9 years, then after 9 years, meron kang 85,000. Okay po? So that's how we solve problems regarding the present value of a compound interest. So let us have another example. Suppose we have this problem. Marilyn borrowed a certain amount at 7.5% compounded yearly. So after 4 years, she paid an amount of 150000 How much did she borrow? Okay, so nangutang daw si Marilyn. So ibig sabihin, ang tinatanong is magkano yung inutang niya. Okay, and that talks about the present value or the principal. Okay? So, Marilyn borrowed a certain amount at the rate is 7.5%. To which, if we're going to convert it into decimal, we move the decimal point to decimal places to the left. We have 1, 2. Okay po? So, our rate would be equivalent to 0 0.075. Okay? And then, the time, sabi dyan, after 4 years. Okay? Uh, so, after 4 years, she paid an amount of 150,000 pesos. So, yung ating future value is, future or maturity value is 150,000 pesos. And with these uh, values, we can now solve for the present value. So, we have P equals F over 1 plus R raised to T. So, by substituting all the necessary values, we have 150,000 over 1 plus 0 0.075 <coughs> raised to 4. And then we would have 150,000 over 1.075 raised to 4. And by using our calculator, so, diretsyo na po natin sa calculator, that is 150,000. That's 150,000 divided by 1.075 raised to 4. Okay po, so that will yield to 112,000. So we have 112,320.0, sorry, 320.08 kapag niround off natin sa nearest hundreds. So ibig sabihin, si Marilyn ay nangutang na 112,320.08. And that's how we solve for the present value of a compound interest.